Let me tell you something. I need you to share this video before they take it down. Because this is a warning before destruction. Do not eat the burgers from McDonald's or Wendy's for the next four days. Here's why. McDonald's is selling cheeseburgers for 59 cents. Wendy's is selling hamburgers for one penny. Don't you eat them damn burgers. I know you're on a budget. I know you got a knee. I know it's hard coming home from work and you got to feed a family of five. But listen, what's more important, your wallet or your life? It's something in that meat that they trying to induce through the food, man. First off, Bill Gates has gotten up. Important. Your wallet or your life is something in that meat that they trying to. Shalom, Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High. The name is Only Begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole flicks scattered abroad. And real quick, this is uh, from the guy Nino Brown. He says, Don't eat those penny burgers, they are poison. Let me see. They are poison, okay? So McDonald's selling double cheeseburgers for 59 cents. Wendy's are selling burgers for one penny. And Burger King are giving them away for free. Wow. Something ain't right, right? Because you got um, National Cheeseburger Day or something like that going on. Oh, that's coming. I'm not sure exactly when, but I know that for a couple of days, these restaurants are going to be selling or, you know, even Burger King flat out get, get giving out, you know, um, um, I just got what I'm with. Uh, oh, Soylent Green Burgers, okay? Soylent Green Burgers, which is a movie from back in, uh, uh, I believe, the 80s or the early 90s, maybe even the 70s. And it was going into how they was putting human meat in, in, in the food, all right? But um, in this particular case, these restaurants are giving you food. And you got to remember, man, these are the same people that wants to bring the population on down under 500 million, okay? They sit down the Georgia Guy Stones. These are the same people that... Um, gave you a yab and had, had motherfuckers suddenly on uh, uh, aliving. These are the same people that don't care about you, you know. So you, if you think that they're they want to do something good like this for you and feed you and your kids and they they care about you or or they care about a damn National Cheeseburger Day, no, this man he is evil and that's why the scriptures tell us this. I'm gonna grab scriptures as I go through this video. This is um Ecclesiasticus chapter 12. Verse 10, it says, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So don't trust this man, okay? And don't put your trust in all your faith in this man. Don't think that he's cool and, 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 and they're doing something good for you, okay? It says, though he humble himself and go crouching, take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. So this man is wicked. Okay, he is absolutely wicked. His rust is, is still there. Okay, and if you pay attention, if you if you if you beware, if you pay, you know, you are gonna see this man to the devil. All right, don't don't take nothing this man give. Hey, and I'll tell, I always tell, you know, my woman, you know, oh, free this, free, hey, hey, ain't nothing free in this fucking world. Okay, it always comes at a price. All right, and the prices most times are more than, than you are willing to pay. All right, nothing is free. Burger King giving out free burgers. You know, you had, um, he gonna go into about Bill Gates putting shit in the food. They putting that, you know, that, that, that yab in the food and shit. All type of weird shit. Oh, yeah. Then he it came out a couple months ago about how they had, they got lab made meat now, man. All right. So all this stuff is going to destroy you. This is a, don't eat this carcinogenic ass food, bro. Okay. This food is carcinogenic, which means cancer causing. It causes cancer. It says, um, let me jump down. It says, "Who will, verse 13, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come now wild beast? So one that goes to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? Right. And this man has defiled our bread. Our bread is defiled among the Gentiles. Lord, 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 I can grab that too. It says, for a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagines how to throw thee into a pit, and that's what they want to do. They want they they, they ultimately won't want you, you know, on, on alive. Okay? He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first, and though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee, right? And uh and and, and that's the spirit of Esau, man. You know, and also he's he, he he's a cunning he 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 he's a crafty devil, okay. 
he's a crafty devil all right it says uh verse uh ecclesiastes chapter 14 verse 7 it says and if he doeth good he doeth it unwillingly and at the last he shall declare his wickedness so this man you know he'll he'll act like he's doing good for you but he's he, he not he, he don't really want it he, his goal is not to feed the, the, the starving and I saw a post that said, how the hell you yab the whole world, but you can't even feed starving people. Okay? Let's play some more. Induced through the food, man. First off, Bill Gates has gotten the approval to distribute fake meat in the U.S., which means restaurants, grocery stores in the minority areas will be among the first. In the minority areas where you jakes at, man. And they're doing this for you jakes. You jakes the one that's going home to five fucking gremlins. And you gotta feed them them damn monsters at your house, you know, and then you you, you know you 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 gonna feed them some 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 garbage, you know. It, 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 it niggas be eating ramen noodles all all day every day, you know. Ain't no nutrition in that man. That's a, that's just a bunch of garbage. You no, know? give your kids a happy meal, and then then you wonder what why, you know, they got all type of demons plaguing them and they ain't happy. I remember one time, as a matter of fact, I haven't ate McDonald's in the fucking while. A long time, but I remember one one of the last times I ate McDonald's. It was me and me, me and me and one of the brothers. We was um and, and, and we was at work, so it was the only thing I was really close. And we had went to McDonald's, or whatever. And we got we got some food or whatever from McDonald's, if you can even call it that. All right, and this motherfucking we ate that shit, and I, we both started seeing like, cause I was I was I was drinking. I was I opened the cup and I was drinking out of the cup, and I started seeing like black shit like floating around, you know. And I'm like, I'm thinking that it's, that it's like in my cup, but it's really, I started, it was really, it wasn't in the cup, okay? I was seeing black shit, but it wasn't in the cup. It was like coming out of my eyes. So I was, I believe personally, and the brother uh, can attest to it, the brother, a uh, 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 ball in my camp, he can attest to it. We believe we were seeing demons, man, okay? Them, those were spirits, okay? And it was coming off of that food. It was coming off of that food, all right? And I started seeing them, you know, for a while after we'll see we'll see them for like a while after that because that food was still in our stomach so they put all type of sorceries and bullshit on this food to destroy you man it's not it's not to feed you and 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 and, and nourish your body because food is supposed to be um nourishing this food has no 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 nourishment in it and so when you eat an hour later you're hungry again okay it's just a bunch of fucking carbs and plastic and chemicals drugs ezekiel chapter 4 verse 13 and Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. So we've been driven into captivity in all these other nations, and we're eating defiled bread, defiled food. If you go look at the, the, the ingredients list of, of the same foods in different countries, like they'll show you um, America versus Canada or America versus the UK, and 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 the American you know uh, ingredients list is like two or three times the rest of these other nations, man. Okay, and then there'd be a bunch of stuff that you can't even pronounce. All right? It says, um, I'm going to play some more stuff. The retail of meat to you. And if you don't believe me, man, I'm going to let the Simpsons tell you this shit. Check this shit out! It's about this fantastic new sandwich. I'm glad you asked, Kent. We start with grade A beef, feed that to other cows, then kill them and serve the unholy results on a seven grain bun. Yeah, Burger results. squared! Math checks out. And now this Math lucky reporter out. will be the first human to sample this delicious crime against nature. Mmm. Crime Juicy, against nature. Flavorful with just a hint of... Hey, that's my check cashing Damn. on you. Damn. So you seen this reporter eat that food and he turned into a damn near zombie, man. Started biting people. So wait, wait, so... And the Simpsons, which is controlled by the elites, you know, the Rothschilds and, and such and such, they put certain things in the Simpsons to pretty much, you know, predict, predict, program you and to uh, to push forth their agenda, you know, through comic, comic, re -re comic re retribution, where they pretty much got to tell you what they're going to do before they do it. So when they do it, they're found, they're found guiltless or innocent because they told you, you know, and this is why the Lord got us out here, man, to tell you, to warn you. OK, let me grab that, too, man. We we're here to warn you and tell you what's coming. There's no there's no co coincidence why the Lord got the prophets on the streets, man. Okay, it says Amos chapter three verse six: Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and Yahweh have not done it? 
Okay, so the Lord is, is the one that's blowing his trumpet. Which the trumpet, first and foremost, is the prophets. We out there crying out, sparing not. Okay, it says, surely the Lord, Yahweh Shemuel Shai, would do nothing. But he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, right? So the prophets know what's going on. The prophets, you know, see these things. Man, the Lord will reveal these things unto the prophets, whether it be in a vision, whether the Lord have you, you know, stumble across an article or something. He'll reveal it to you, but everybody else is being blinded, okay? Let me grab that too, man. Um, Because the only ones that, 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 that is going to take heed to, to, to uh, this is the ones who have understanding. Everybody else just go, oh, well, I mean, everything. I hate that shit, bro. Everything is poison. Everything is bad for you. So you're going to go fucking indulge in more bad, in bad shit that you know is bad for you? It says Proverbs chapter 14. Uh, yeah, Proverbs chapter uh, 22, verse 3. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil. Okay, we see the bad times. We see what this devil's trying to do. And hideth himself. I'm not going over there. I'm good. I'm, no, I'm, I'm straight. If you still eating fucking McDonald's anyways, bro, you deserve what's about to happen to you, bro. You still around here eating McDonald's. And now, Wendy's, I can't lie. You know, sometimes I may go, go to Wendy's or whatever. And, and I don't feel good about it. It made me feel like shit afterwards. But McDonald's? <laughs> Hell no. You couldn't pay me to go to McDonald's, man. I remember the last time I went to McDonald's and I was in a line. And on the wall, on, and, and the drive through they had a damn a damn message on the on, on the window that said right in front of my car. I got, I got the fuck out of the line. It's pretty much told, said that how... The potatoes have certain things. I mean, the fries have certain things, and the, and the hash browns and shit they have certain things in it that cause cancer. You know that when McDonald's, uh, um, when they harvest their potatoes or whatever, and whatever fields they they gotta spray it with chemicals and shit, and the workers can't go around over four days. You know, <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> they gotta wear hazmat suits, you know, to harvest the damn food and shit. This this man is evil. He ain't your friend. He ain't trying to feed you. He don't trying to take care of you. Wake up. Snap out of it. It says, a prudent man, which means a man of understanding, foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. The simple going to run right up there. You're going to see long ass lines around, wrapped around a building and going down the street to McDonald's, Wendy's, uh, Burger King. You know, and they're going to be feeding your ass garbage and poison, man. It's like you had them long lines to get that yap. They're going to have long lines to, to, to get this yap to food. And you're going to wonder why. You're going to be wondering why you got a motherfucking. <sighs> Who knows what, man? Who knows what? Let's play some more of this. Salakia. Juicy, flavorful, with just a hint of. Hey, that's my check cashing arm, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Real food costs real money. Damn, so the clown talked to a drama too. Hey, that's my check cashing arm, you stupid. <laughs> real food costs real money. Whole food sales. Real sell. food costs real money. So you go, look, then that's real food. If you go to uh, Whole Foods, that food is expensive as fuck because that's real food. Okay, for the most part. Now, such some of the shit still GMO or whatever, but for the most part, look, organic. Well, that's say organic farmer. But you get the picture, man. All right. Now, if they eat some shit for free, guess what? It's, it's some shit in that shit, man. I, I wouldn't trust it. Okay. And these other camps ain't telling you about this. They're not warning you about this. They going to fucking, they going to go get fucking, I remember, um, I used to be a part of a camp and the guy, you know, we used to eat, you know, after camp or whatever. And this guy loved barbecue lays or whatever, barbecue chips. And I saw a video back, you know, if you, if you light a barbecue chip on fire, that shit is fucking flammable. That shit will burn for fucking, like, it, is, it, 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 it ignites. I'm like, no, we should, you know, you should be eating that shit, bro. And I'm, I'm not eating that shit. We should not stop eating. No, but I love it, bro. Everything's it's just simple, bro. Just completely simple. And I had to get the fuck from around those dudes. It says, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 38. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. So, so we give you the warning. If you continue to be ignorant, society be ignorant, that's on you. That's on you. Okay? You can't say that you can't say that you was a warrant though. Okay, the blood is off of our hands. Alright? The blood is off of our hands. Let's go here. It says, um, Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, which means just we could, you know, cunningly devise plans and schemes. We know what this man is about. We see what we see what he do. 
All right, we're not ignorant to it. We're not we're not gonna play ignorant to it either. We're not supposed to hate Esau, nigga. When, when, when he turn your kids to a damn a vegetable or a zombie, you gonna hate him then? Simpleton. It says Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter five verse thirteen. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. So don't be ignorant, man, of anything, whether it be great or small, whether it be something that's that seems light. Oh, it's just a burger, you know, or something that, that that's even big. They want to put something inside <laughs> inside your bloodstream. And a lot of you people are ignorant. You are just completely ignorant. But if you're going to be ignorant, hey, go ahead and be ignorant. We got the blood off our hands. We warned you. We told you, right? So, hey, we we, 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 we going to be good. But you, on the other hand, are going to be in trouble. I'm going to let this play out and I'm going to close out. So with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame, Shirala, Ababa, Ball. I praise lessons to the edifies and hope for elect. Let's bring this back. This some shit. Tell you to shit. Shut this shit out. Out. about this fantastic new sandwich. I'm glad you asked, Kent. We start with grade A beef, feed that to other cows, then kill them and serve the unholy results on a seven grain bun. The unholy Burger results. Squared. The mess checks out. And now this lucky reporter will be the first human to sample this delicious crime against nature. This delicious crime against nature. You see how they talk in, in the Simpsons? They're telling you what it is. Mm, juicy. And this show has been out since I was a child. Okay, since I was a child, this show has been out. So th there's an agenda being pushed with this show. They're showing you what they're doing. That's why people say, "Oh yeah, the system is projecting the future." No, these motherfuckers. Are, this show is controlled by the elite, and, and, and they're orchestrating the future. Flavorful with just a hint of. I told you. My check cashing on you, stupid. My check cashing on. Real food costs real money. Whole food sells real food, and it costs. If you notice that clown was supposed to represent uh, McDonald's, man. McDonald's mascot is the clown. The funny, if you ever shop that Whole Foods, then you will understand why I'm telling you not to eat those penny burgers, 59 cent burgers, a pack of four Angus beef burgers. From Whole Foods costs about sixteen dollars and seventy-five cents. And if you go to Publix, Kroger, Win Dixie, and get a generic brand of burgers, man, it's gonna run you about seven to eight dollars for a pack of six. Buns gotta be at least about four dollars for a pack of eight. So how the hell can you sell burgers for one penny and fifty-nine cents? Think about what I'm saying. How the hell McDonald's pulling it off? Selling double cheeseburger, two patties, and a bun and condiments for a total of 59 so. cents. Yeah. Some just don't sound right. To it's because those people putting something in them goddamn burgers to depopulate the goddamn world. Think about it, man. The people in that light skin house, that white house, the people over oh, there, they figured out that we like chicken, hamburger, real, all that shit. Y'all like that pork, all that bad shit. That that pork. They like that. So instead of Forcing you to get them goddamn <laughs> Rona inject. You know what I'm talking about? They just allow you to inject yourself with a burger or a goddamn fake piece of chicken. Think about what I'm saying. Poor people buy cheap food because they can't afford quality food. The poor won't stop to a Wendy. The poor hey. won't stop to a Mac. The poor will tell you Israelites, man. And I, I remember I, and I go to the store and stuff, you know, you go to Walmart. Don't ever buy no great value shit, bro. Buy the shit that's at least name brand, cause that shit is more, is less as bad as a great. But anything in Walmart that says great value is carcinogenic, bro. It's cancer causing. And I and I, and, I, and my woman, oh she, oh well, 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 cheaper, fuck cheaper, <laughs> fuck cheaper. I'll pay the extra dollar. Fuck it, you know, if, if, it, it, it's, it's it's gonna it's, it's, it's gonna it's gonna cost you less in the long, long run, man. All right, let's, let's, let's finish up. Um, man, and get them a burger after work and grab their family a goddamn meal because they too Ridiculous. tired to cook and they got the Jackson 5 at the crib. Hungry, mom, I'm hungry. Where you at? Let me just stop by McDonald's and get me a 50 size sit cheeseburger. Give me four of bait. So they do that on a daily. And what them people do, man, that's trying to inject you with that new goddamn. They do a daily analysis of what poor people spend their money on and where they spend their money at. That's how they determine if we're in an economic depression or economic war that you don't understand, man. 
right now, it costs more to buy groceries than it do to eat out. It's cheaper to eat out, man. And that's strategic to get people to buy that fake cheap meat because it's on sale for pennies and they know you hungry and got to eat. Don't trust none of these places, man, that got drive-thrus and drive-through windows, man. Try to cook Fast at food. home, man. Don't let these people give you blood box and indirect shots. Think about what I'm saying. Don't let people knock you off through the food. Help is wealth and money can't buy a dead man back. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm saying. I know you on the budget. I know it's hard to goddamn survive out here right now because we in a goddamn recession, depression. Ain't no money out here, but you gotta think. This too shall pay. I'll pay. I ain't gonna I'll let those people take me out trying to save a little kid. <laughs> Take this little money. I got to live, baby. I drink me some water. God gonna bless you anyway, cause you're fasting. Think about what I'm saying now. Y'all comment below and let me know. Please share this video. Tag somebody in the comment. I'm liking every comment. Tag somebody in the comment. Send it to your coworkers. Send it to your goddamn family. Cause I believe they gonna try to take this down cause it's TMI. Too much information. Y'all share this video. Y'all like this video. There you go. Um. Look at that. Strands of C9 found in the New York water. But yeah, man, and I want to say this too, man. Um, Here in the camp, the province of Babylon camp, my beloved brother, Atazawam, which is my blood brother. Hey, that brother had been doing some something where he'd been, um, he, he, he'd been having the other brothers do something called Hell Month, where for a whole month you only eat, you know, fruits and uh, I believe herbs. You have, you, you, you eat herbs and, um, and, uh, and, 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 and uh, water, man. You know, and brothers been dropping weight. Brothers been, you know, real, you know, getting getting healthier. You know, behind behind that uh behind that hell month, man. So he, and he he started that. You know, so we actually gonna do it. You know, we all we all plan on doing it. Or a few of us plan on doing it. Um, uh, next month. You know, start the first for a whole month, and we're gonna be eating no damn meat. You know, straight uh, fruits. You know, uh, uh, herbs, water, and I might make some vegetables in there every now and then. You know. But what that does is that cleanses your body, it detox, it detox your body out from all that garbage, man. You know, and then you got, you know, Jake that that that, that can never do that. They'll, they'll never even try to, you know, and that's hard, but you, Jake can never even try. Oh, no, nah, man, I can't do that. I can't. You know, and I'm, I'm going to be a nigga that's out here fucked up, sick, and, and on their deathbed, man. With that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Quimish, Rolla, Bob, Babal. Shalom.